everybody. This is Wishes Family Travel. We are aboard the Disney Dream and we wanted to show you briefly how to use the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. So you'll want to download this app before you arrive, but then once you are on board, the app becomes active. And when you first click on it, if it'll come up to your daily navigator with activities. If you click right here, it's going to bring up your personalized information. It will pull up your dining schedule. So if you click on that, it'll show you which day you are in which of the three restaurants that are on the daily rotation. And then if you click that back down, it'll have your itinerary. Today we're ported in Nassau. Tomorrow we have a day at sea. And then it'll have deparkation information. So if you're gonna do an express walk off or where you need to go to breakfast and what time what time you eat breakfast is very important. So if you are in main seating dining, your breakfast will be at 6.45 a.m. Second seating dining will be at 8 a.m. As well as if you are on board, then there is the opportunity to place a placeholder on a future cruise. And then once you are home, you can then transfer that cruise to your wishes agent so that you can still have their wonderful service once you're home but you will want to place a placeholder. That does not mean you have to choose the exact cruise. Just know that you will be cruising again in the next two years. If you need to have Wi-Fi at sea, there are a number of packages. You do get 50 megabytes to use that's complimentary from Disney Cruise Line, but if you wanna do additional services, then there are packages available. Then they also have a number of tips that you can click on. This is a very user-friendly app. So then you can go through, if you planned anything ahead of time or even on board, then in your plans, it'll start by just showing you what you have for this specific day. The Nassau day on our sailing does happen to be the pirate night. So we will have Mickey's Pirates in the Caribbean as one of the shows. And then our dining tonight is an animator's palette and there will be a specialty pirate themed menu. But if you click on view all my plans, then when I move to tomorrow, we do have a brunch at Palo. That is an additional fee that is inquire, or that is associated with brunch or dinner at Palo, as well as we have a champagne tasting later in the evening. It'll also show you the main events for the evening so that you have that information as well. Then on top of that, if you then click on that again, if you're looking to try to find certain locations on the ship, you can click on the little ship icon and you can go deck by deck to see either where specific staterooms are or on the main certain floors. Then you can see on deck, flirt, on deck three, you have a number of the shops as well as the Walt Disney Theater and Royal Pal Palace. On deck four, that's where you're gonna also find additional seating for the Walt Disney Theater. The Buena Vista Theater, which plays first run movies. And then that's also where you're gonna find Shutters and Vista Cafe. Shutters is where you are going to find your pictures throughout your cruise. And then that's also where the district, the adults only areas are and then you can go through the rest of the decks. Then you can also go day by day. You can click up top if, it's, if you're wanting to look at a future day. So if we pull up tomorrow, then you can find out the entire list of daily activities that you can also find on your printed out navigator or if you want to find specific things. If you're wanting to find things that are filtered for a specific age group, you can click filter and then click your specific category and then it will narrow down your results to the things that you're interested in. Then when you are in your stateroom, you can also click this little chat box and that will allow you to chat with the people that are in your stateroom. You can also add on the chat numbers from other staterooms so that you can chat with other people aboard as well. So this is just a brief run through of everything that you can 
use on your Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. The same information can be found in other ways if you do not want to use it on your phone, but this is definitely the most convenient way. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.